हेलो एंड वेलकम टू सक्सेस स्टोरी This is a show where we talk to students of CS and students of Excel on how they passed exam. You'll get lot of tips to make sure you pass in your exam. Joining me today is Shri Ranjini. Hello, welcome. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Very happy to be here. Congratulations! Now you are in CS professional. How does it feel? Thank you, sir. It feels very happy to have come to the next stage. I, I honestly speaking, I didn't expect to for this to happen so soon. I I was sure I had put my efforts and all that's there, but I think as a, a student of professional courses, we are always uncertain of things happening. So I'm very happy to have come to the next stage. So that is a very good starting message for everyone who is watching this. See, uncertainty is part of a professional course. C A C A C M A any professional course, uncertainty is there. So don't get scared. That oh uncertainty is there. What should I do? Hard work will give success. And see, Sri Sri Ranjini now is in professional. And I've told thousand times, and I repeat, once you pass executive, you will pass professional. So for all students who are watching who are still in executive, please give that hard work now. Yes. So Sri Ranjini, can you give us a brief background? Where are you from? What have you studied? What brought you to CS? Okay. So I'm from Chennai. I'm 21 now. I've just completed my bachelor's. uh i completed my ug in last june and then uh, cs started in my uh, college second year i i happened to realize that i was interested in law papers so um, i wanted to give a try in cs foundation so i just gave a try and it got clicked so uh, fortunately i registered for cs executive back then but i had uh, uh, opportunities in college as well so i couldn't manage between the both i realized i wanted to prioritize college at that time so i decided i just have to pull this a little later so i decided uh, i'll give one practice attempt in june which is last june june 2023 and i knew it was only a practice attempt because um, i i i didn't prepare well honestly but i wanted to give uh, get the experience uh, like um, i i had seen in one of your excel academy's video where you say you'll have to go and sit for the whole 3 hours but you will have to get the taste of it first and then we we need not fear in right in the first attempt so i went and sat for the 3 hours and back then i realized how important it is for me to prepare to to be able to sit for the whole 3 hours to be able to write to be able to uh, write sensible content not just blabber in the papers so i realized it it was a good realization so i decided i'll sit prepare uh, for the whole uh, Six seven months after that, and I gave my attempt in last uh, December, December twenty twenty three, and very fortunately, I, I was able to clear both the modules. Very good, excellent. So now, for everyone watching this, the primary thing they should understand is, you need to give time for studies. So like Sri Ranjani told, so after the college, you had time. You are a full time student, right? Yes, sir. Now I am a full time student. Yes, excellent. so tell us little bit about which subject was hard for you okay so when it came to module 2 uh, i heard a lot of my uh, peers uh, telling that securities law was um, a, a little uh, tricky paper it will be the core paper like we have company law in module 1 i was a little used to module 1 paper so i had more fear in module 2 whether i'll be able to uh, crack it or not so um, securities law was one paper which i feared a little to be honest uh, and i am very thankful to have swati ma'am uh, guided me because uh, she made it very easy for me to understand the concepts and i started loving the subject eventually so um, i felt uh, securities law was very tricky before when i started my preparation and now i feel i i i like the subject and i'll be able to tell the concepts uh, very confidently so i eventually started loving the subject so for again see this whole success stories for people who are watching it is just to make you feel that everybody who has got success was just like you so she was scared of one subject but then later after studying and passing now she is confident so everybody goes through that journey now tell us about your schedule because you finished college you are a full time student while studying so how was your day like what did you do while studying morning to night okay so 
uh, first of everything i realized i'm not a morning person so that was a little hard hitting because a lot of my peers started uh, studying in the morning but i realized i should fix my own uh, timelines to study and all so i realized i should push a little late in the night so i scheduled uh, around uh, 9 to 10 hours per day i realized uh, i'll have to take enough breaks and all that was all there uh, during your mentorship calls you told about the pomodoro technique and all that was very useful for me to get a 5 minute break and then get energized and then get back to studies again so i i scheduled for around 9 years a day i mean 9 hours a day and then um, i was able to crack it i needed a little break in the earlier months i wanted a little extra break but when the exam started nearing i realized i'll have to take the break only as and when needed and then i'll have to get back to studies so from morning uh, i'll start late in the morning and then push late in the night so okay. i was able to manage with that and while you studied did you do any writing or just reading like how was your uh, style okay so i'm a person who will uh, remember things when i read it two three times extra so first time i'll give it a general read and then i when i read in the subsequent time i try to understand and connect with the concepts practically so at the fourth time fifth time i'll try writing it and then um, i in the weekly tests and all i made sure even if it's difficult even if i have prepared only a little i should be sitting for the test weekly that made be made me a little consistent towards the papers and all even if when i'm when i'm fearing the paper i made sure i'll sit and then that test will make me realize more about how uh, prior, how i should prioritize the papers so i i i write once a week and towards the exam i gave mock papers and then i started one day one one answer thing uh, towards the end of the uh, months so one day one answer actually helped me a lot because that gave me a structure uh, to write my answers to prepare for uh, the answer when i see the question so that writing towards the end of the uh, fag end of the preparation time helped me a lot okay then i'll ask you something slightly different because so people watching this they feel you have to be rank student you have to be brilliant student only then you can pass cs and they are actually wasting time in thinking so much about it correct so true, based true, now true. that you have passed exam what do you want to tell our friends who are simply wasting time in overthinking what do you want to tell them i think i was also an overthinker a very very few months back but i realized overthinking will only waste my time and then i'll not be able to even if it's a 5 minutes i'll be able to learn a concept better when i stop overthinking so i realized when we actually like the subject when we have gotten into, into the course liking the subject and en- enjoying the subjects i think we should stop overthinking and then even if we are not uh, fully aware of the concept or any little uh, chapter that we learn i think even if we, we are not aware about how the concept goes we should just start reading just the start will help us go through the process that fear Very should good. be overcome but right when we start i think i asked this question to you because i remember in chennai when we met in our workshop you asked me a few questions and now that you have passed that is why i asked this question so for people who are watching this people are watching this please understand every minute you think or overthink it is one minute lesser from your studies so if you overthink for one hour one hour less from your studies and in one hour you could have finished one small chapter itself so stop overthinking there is nothing wrong in thinking but overthinking that happened this happens i should be that always question just study keep it simple and you will get the results so good shri ranjani that is great now come and tell us little bit about your experience at excel academy what are all the features you like how did that make difference in your preparation and confidence okay so um, uh, reminder calls from shrimati ma'am helped me a lot to be honest when i there are there were days where i uh, not where i feel not uh, completing the chapter at all that was right back then where shrimati ma'am had called me she said have you completed the chapter have you completed this? she would write she would remind so that helped me a lot to bring back pull me back to the studies table because um, that that is one thing i think all of us student will want to happen someone reminding us to come and study even if i had lost confidence 
so reminder calls mentorship calls from shrimati ma'am and uh, alok sir helped me a lot and i think uh, the timetable the mock tests the timetable for each weekly test helped me a lot to to give me a structure as to when uh, i'll have to prepare for what subject so i think uh, that really made a difference okay great so now how do you feel after finishing executive because that's a very big hurdle true okay so completing executive actually feels very happy because uh, we are a one step ahead to be a proper cs professional so this feels a little happy and a little responsible as well because once we uh, get uh, halfway we'll have to complete it fully so i think now i feel more responsible to sit study and then learn practical things because i think as cs executive students we only see about how theory is uh, structured how it is uh, how the law works but when we come to pro professional i think we'll have to think learn things practically as well so i'll i think i'll focus more on practical application or mm -hmm. how things really work you know so i think i feel more responsible actually great so for everyone watching this please understand say i have met every student before they pass the exam they are so mature after passing just even if i have to speak to shree anjani that maturity will just be amazing so please put in that hard work the problem is students are not even putting the work forget about hard work and they want results i'm sorry but i'm telling you the truth and if you put no you will get benefits nobody will get benefit you will get benefit for your entire life and that i'm telling you again pass executive only executive after that you will pass professional you will finish 21 months training you will become cs that has never been a problem the filtration is in executive because seriousness is not there for many students so please watch this entire success stories it could be shri ranjini or others they are just like you nothing different but they have had the discipline and hard work to put in the time and effort and they have got the results that is the message that you have to get now for professional what is your plan what are you doing for 21 months training how do you look forward okay so i have a plan to start my article ship uh, i am thinking i should uh, also give my professional there is one advantage that we from cs students have which is writing exams parallelly with article ship i think yes. we'll have to while all the facilities that institute gives us so that Because is one one thing second for students who are watching it you don't have this benefit in ca in ca you have to wait you have to wait after the time period you have to write the final exam so that is a very good thing yes please continue so i think uh, i'll have to avail that advantage i i think i can start preparing right away because i don't want to get out from the student mode the article ship gives us practical experience as well but uh, i think uh, it is very important to retain the student mode and then prepare for the final exams so i am planning to appear for final but i'll have to decide on that a little later as well okay so. great very good so you are already confident that we can see we can feel it and for everyone watching it please remember that please put in that important work ethic of 8 to 9 hours and you can do it don't worry about morning night whatever works for you you please do it so finally what are your words for all the students who are stuck in executive what do you want to tell them okay i think uh, i also wanted to add something else yeah um i am also a music aspirant sir so a few months back i was uh, put in a situation where i had to choose between two important things in life which was music and cs so i decided i will not choose between the two but i'll handle both the things in life so um, it's just that how we prioritize Uh, two different things two very important things to me so i decided i only uh, i will prioritize cs now and then uh, probably schedule uh, the other important thing a little later so i am wanting to tell to my peers that if you have something uh, two different things that you actually like so we can actually be important uh, we can actually be interest interested in two different things as well and we can actually succeed in both so i think uh, please do not be nervous i've been there i've done that so please uh, start working just the start just the kick start will get you where you wanted to be so i'm very happy uh, i've come till here and i really hope uh, this works for me in the further days as well so 
and i'm wishing all the students a very all the best yeah great so for everyone watching it see here if you want to you will do it simple nothing more than that so finally we wish you all the best for your music also please do keep that no matter what company secretary you become in future please keep that that will keep you uh, very successful and also it will be a very good work life balance so please continue your music that is our suggestion from your side thank you thank you sir thank you so much i'm very happy to be a part of this uh, whole series and then i'm very happy to have uh, gotten the guidance from excellect this thanks a lot and like i always say we can give guidance for people who are watching this but the work and the ethic and the work ethics hard work should come from student so whoever is come in success stories everybody has basic things like hard work discipline consistency and that is why they've got result yes we are there to support we are there to give everything from coaching to mentorship but you need that that is important for people watching it don't think that just by joining excel or any academy you are going to pass never even if you join anything that will never happen unless you are putting the effort from your side we or people like us we are there to always help you thank you very much and we will see you again after passing professional we'll see you again in success stories sure sir thank you so much i'm very happy to have got your guidance and i'm very happy for uh, my people around me who have supported me in this journey whole journey my mentors my family my friends all of them so i'm very happy to be here thank you so much sir thank you and for everybody else we will see you in the next episode of success stories